In this video we're going to look at probability and area. We'll do this example 6 where you toss a pebble into a box in example 7. A meteor, meteor falls from the sky and strikes Washington State. What is the probability that it strikes Grays Harbor County? So um, if we have a box and the inside bottom of it is painted with three co colors, one half is red, one eighth is green, one eighth is black and one quarter is white you toss a pebble into the box without aiming, what is the probability that the pebble lands on white, lands on red, lands on black, lands on green? So we'll do these first. So here's the box, right? I'm tossing a pebble in there randomly, it landed on green, right? So one half of the box is red, one eighth is green, one eighth is black, one quarter is white. So I toss a pebble in there randomly, this time it landed on red, this time it landed kind of on red I guess. This time it's red, this time it's red again, that time it was black, so you get the idea. That's red, okay? That time it was white. So if I toss that pebble, you know, 10,000 times, you would assume, if you think about white as a quarter of the area, wouldn't you assume that if you toss the pebble, 10,000 times that a quarter of those shots would land on white, that would be two and a half thousand, right? About. So I guess I'm kind of aiming there. So I've got to not aim. That time was green and so on. Okay. So what's the probability the pebble lands on white? Wouldn't you say it's a quarter? Because a quarter, the, the box is colored white, right? What's the probability that the pebble will land on red? When half of it is painted red. Wouldn't it be one half, right? How about black and green? Write down the answers. Probability it lands on black, one eighth. Probability it lands on green, one eighth, right? What is the probability now that the pebble does not land on white? What's the probability when I toss it in, the pebble does not land on white? The probability it lands on white is one quarter. The rest of the area then is, you could say, 1 minus 1 quarter, or 4 quarters minus 1 quarter, or 3 quarters. So the probability it does not land on white, you could say, is 3 quarters as a fraction. Of course, as a, de as a decimal, that's 0 0.75, and as a percentage, that's 75% chance. Okay. What's the probability it doesn't land on red? doesn't land on black, doesn't land on green. Did you get doesn't land on red? Well, half of the box is painted red, the other half is not red. So the probability it does not land on red would be one half, right? What's the probability that it does not land on black? One eighth is painted black. So how many eighths are painted not black? So if you want, you can go, okay, there's the whole box, 1 minus 1 eighth, that's 8 eighths minus 1 eighth, that's 7 eighths, right? Or you could say, well, 7 eighths is not playing to black, so that's the probability, okay? What's the probability it doesn't land on green? That's also got to be 7 eighths, because 7 eighths is not painted green, right? So, how would we calculate this one? A meteor falls from the sky and strikes Washington State. What is the probability that it strikes Grays Harbor County? What information would you need to calculate this? Isn't it kind of like the pebble in the box problem? So if you imagine the green part to be Grays Harbor County and this is the meteor. Ooh, it missed that time. Here's the meteor coming again. Oh, just missed Grays Harbor County that time, right? Here it comes again. Oh, just missed. So the probability of that pebble striking the green part we said was on eighth, and we got that by no by knowing the area, right? So don't you agree that if you knew the area of Grays Harbor County and the area of Washington State, you'd be able to calculate this probability, wouldn't you? So the area of Grays Harbor County. is 2,224 square miles. The area of Washington State altogether 
is 71,362 square miles, right? What's the probability that the meteor, if it strikes Washington, that it will strike Grace Harbor County? Press pause and do that. Have you got it? Okay, I hope you've tried it. The probability that the meteor, if it strikes Washington, that it strikes Grace Harbor County would be two, sorry, whoops, two, 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 four, over seven, one, three, six, two. Okay? And what does that give? Gives zero point zero three one one six five, etc. Give that as a decimal to uh, as a percentage to one decimal place. Percentage to one decimal place. Three point and turn the decimal into a percentage. Three point and this is a one and it, the next one is a one, so we brown down. So three point one percent, right? So the probability if the meteor hits Washington State, the probability that it hits Scrapers Harbor County is three point one percent. Very low, right? Now, is this probability theoretical or empirical? Is this a theoretical probability or an empirical probability and why? So if you take out your definition real quick and read it, theoretical probability is the probability of an event that can be measured exactly. Empirical probability is the probability of an event based on data collected in real life experiments. So how about we shoot down about a thousand meteors onto Washington State and count how many of the meteors hit Grays Harbor County, then we'll really know the probability of it hitting Grays Harbor County, right? That would be empirical probability. That's collecting real life data. Doesn't sound like fun, does it? Right. So what we've done here is we've calculated the theoretical probability, haven't we? Theoretical probability. Three point one percent. How about these guys? When we did the box, did we th toss a pebble in there and count how many times it landed on green and red and white? Or did we just calculate the probabilities from the area and just get exact probabilities based on logic? So which do we do? Well, we calculated these probabilities exactly because you know, well, half the box is red, then half the pebbles surely are going to land on red, right? So that this, these again are all theoretical probabilities. If we wanted to get the empirical probabilities to these questions, we would have to do an experiment and maybe throw the pebble in a hundred times and uh, count how many uh, times it landed on each color. So all of these probabilities here and all up and down here, all these probabilities are theoretical, right? not empirical. 